Hello, this is Alan with Enviro Measures Outstanding in the Field. And uh, today we're um, actually tabling at the um, food, uh, Green Life Food Festival in uh, Pasadena at the um, Shumi America uh, <laughs> Spiritual Center. And uh, so what we're doing is that we're actually demonstrating the water seer technology, which is an atmospheric water generator. There's the, that's their logo, and then this is the actual unit itself. And right now, we're at, wow, 88% humidity, and we're about 58 degrees in uh, ambient temperature, and we are actually producing a good amount of water. Um, every now and then you'll see like a little blur, a little spiral of water going down that tube. And so basically what we're doing is we're pulling the moisture out of the air, like, a, like an air conditioner would or a dehumidifier, and it's getting sucked up underneath here. There's a hole up here and a, a fan that's uh, the intake. So the air is going up and it goes into a condensing unit here. And there's actually a UV light over here too. You can hit the purify button if you want that to, to engage. Um, and then there's a, uh, a vent hole back here. So that's where uh, the air actually vents out. And this intake back here is about a four inch diameter hole and you can actually feel the air coming in. Now, if you're going to install this outside, you would actually have a tube uh, going down and into the earth. And that would be like a, a it would be considered a geothermal interface. And uh, what that does is it helps with the uh, temperature differential. So when it's hot out here, it'll be cool in the ground. So you have a, a really good temperature differential that will help the water condensate better and, uh, and it will remove the moisture uh, much more efficiently. And uh, so I'm sure you've heard of uh, atmospheric water generators, you've seen the, the ones that uh, they use in offices and whatnot, but uh, what people don't usually know is that those um, are basically glorified dehumidifiers that they've modified. Uh, to, to catch the uh, effluent, uh, which is the condensate. And uh, those types of things go through uh, aluminum fins and very toxic metals and pick up a lot of things. So that's why they tell you not to uh, drink the water from your uh, air conditioner, which is basically a, a big uh, dehumidifier as well. The other thing with those things is that they use a lot of energy. This particular unit right now, it uses 365 watts of energy, whereas the other ones basically start at 700 watts and go up. Um, and you end up producing a lot less water. Uh, this particular unit, when, uh, when there's uh, good uh, conditions, which I believe uh, the, the sweet spot is 60-60, so 60% uh, humidity and 60 degrees. And right now we're over that sweet spot uh, in humidity. And we're about 58 degrees ambient temperature, I think I stated that earlier. And uh, so basically we should be collecting about 20, uh, less than just a little under 10 gallons of water in a 24 hour period. Um, and there you go. So that's what this looks like. And uh, I believe this is about 35 pounds or so. You can, you know, set it up as a desktop or, or a tabletop uh, type setting like, like it is here. And uh, so you could actually put this in your house in a corner, tucked away, and you can collect water. Now I just have a gallon jug there, but obviously you could put a, a five gallon jug, or you can interface it with a, uh, a much larger tank. And uh, this is for drinking water, obviously. And um, 
you can fill up your, you know, it's, it, the water gravity heat from here, so you'd have to have it set up so that your tank would be below. Otherwise, you'd have to have some sort of a, a pump situation, um, you know. Uh, yeah, and who wants that? So anyway, so you want a gravity feed, uh, feed uh, into your uh, tank or water receptacle. I think that's about it. Um, so that's it. So that's the water seer. Again, this is Alan uh, with Enviro Measures, outstanding in the field. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Okay.